Do you struggle with bipolar, anxiety, PTSD or BPD? Been given a medical diagnosis that feels more like a death sentence? Want to know really what's going on when BPD, bipolar, anxiety and PTSD are forming? Stay tuned because in today's episode of Going Deeper, I'm going to be sharing that with you and so much more. So welcome to today's show. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health, to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics, such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Well hi there friends and welcome once again to another exciting episode of Going Deeper, the show that helps you get from where you are to where you want to be, hopefully step by step and simply, and always remembering that I never teach on anything that I have not had first hand experience in as well. Well remember, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and tell your friends because it could be the very thing that helps them in their hour of need. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's move on to today's topic where we're talking about bipolar specifically, uh, anxiety, PTSD and BPD. So what are these things? All of the aforementioned, uh, I guess, issues are things that people are facing on a day-to-day -day basis that affects their mental health. There are so many different areas uh, of topic to cover and I'm going to try my best to cover them almost genetically. So there's a lot of study that can go in there, but this is more like a broad overview. And the aim is to really just get you, get, give you almost like a lifeline and, a, and a, almost like an olive branch kind of thing, a, a ray of hope. Because many people, including myself, have been diagnosed with one of those aforementioned issues and you know, it, it can feel like a death sentence when you actually are told, look, you've got this and all we can do is medicate you. Now medication has become the norm around the world and particularly in the West and unfortunately it really isn't the norm and it shouldn't be seen as the norm. The idea for medication, unless you need to be on it long term, is that you're on it for a short term, you align and you know whatever the issue is, and then you can you can move forward. That is certainly the aim. And we, there's a lot that we can do in terms of taking control of our health, taking control of our mental well-being, and so much more um, to help eradicate that. So, what's going on when bipolar um, is forming? Well, a recent study that I've been uh, observing quite a lot in Stanford, uh, Stanford uh, University, talks about these different things. And I was sitting there, I was listening, and I, and I latched onto an idea and, and a concept. So what's happening when bipolar is being formed or any of these other illnesses are being formed is basically if you liken it to an atom or a diamond, for example, you know, huge amounts of pressure are being laid upon the person, okay? And in a world now that seems to expect more of us than ever before, human beings are now feeling more under pressure to look the best, be the best, act the best, do the best, but almost feeling trapped. That's the crazy thing about it. They're feeling trapped. They're not fulfilled. They're not enjoying it. We are the most comfortable society in the entire world and in the entirety of history. And the crazy thing is that we're also a society that complains the most, that has the most mental health issues, the most gender identity issues um, than ever before. And I'm going to talk about that in, in later on recordings um, because I do want to, to you know, address a lot of that. So what's happening when bipolar is being formed is, you know, there's so much pressure, there's so much stress that's going on a person. It's the exact same thing as when we, we change uh, atoms and, and elements into new elements. So you put a ton of pressure on an element or a diamond in this case. I wanted to talk about diamonds. Um, and it goes from being a rock into a diamond over millions of years of pressure. Well, what's happening now is people are under so much pressure, so much stress, so much anxiety, so much, you know, uh, expectation from other people that the pressure gets so much that eventually the mind, what actually happens, and this is quite a horrific thing when it happens, the mind actually starts splitting cells and the mind actually starts splitting itself to the point that if, if you imagine my fists being uh, one uh, uh, protein strand, one strand in your mind that governs your personality, then all of a sudden it's, it's split 
and imagine a big hammer coming in between and what happens is it's still slightly connected but you've got this sort of motion so if I can your finger do it better which it can be more deadly because on one part of your personality this could be the happy part of your personality on this part this could be the the negative miserable part of your personality and that's why people are switching backwards and forwards all of the time does that make sense and when that happens that can be a really really difficult thing so what can we do about it if you've studied with me before, you'll know that I, I have almost like a, a grading system for how I see mental health. And I think sometimes it's very, very helpful to do that. So people start out with anxiety. Um, when anxiety isn't managed and when anxiety isn't, uh, I suppose, addressed and people just try to ignore it, put their head in the sand, then what can happen because of the pressure that's there is you end up with severe anxiety which leads and what which can lead to bipolar disorder, which can lead to schizophrenia, which can lead obviously to depression. Depression is another thing that yeah, I'll talk about on another uh, episode because there's so much that surrounds depression with regards to DNA, with your core structure, with your protein molecules, all the other stuff. Um, but then that can, that, so, so we'll leave out depression for now, but schizophrenia, and then that can lead to, uh, you know, your, your uh, borderline personality disorders and then uh, uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, because of the stress that hasn't been dealt with, the situations that haven't been dealt with. When you actually break it down, what human beings suffer more than anything is their imagination and is their memory. So they imagine, you know, all the things that could go wrong and all the horrific things. And this is where anxiety, if you've read my book, The Battles We All Face, we talk about this in chapter one. Uh, if you haven't, you can get it on Amazon now. The Battles We All Face um, uh, by John Morris. You can check it out. Very, very, really, really cool book. And it's got a lot of my artwork in there as well. So I think you will love it. Uh, little segue, little plug there. Um, but that, that's what's happening is people are more afraid of what could be or what has been than, than anything else in, uh, in, in their lives. And that's what's happening. So now that we've covered all of these things it's important to begin to you know look at what we can do and what we can do is take control of what we're listening to what we're observing what we're watching who we're talking to who we're surrounding ourselves with and it's really important in being able to do that so when people say to me that they, they have uh, bipolar or they have anxiety or they're stressed or, or whatever it might be, it's all stuff that's in the mind. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you that right now. It is literally all stuff that's in the mind. So when we're going through that, it's really important that we're very careful as to what we do next. A lot of people like to listen to their favorite music. Why do I not recommend that people listen to their favorite music? Because Every single song that you listen to is usually one mood or the other, and it's it's very you know, indicative of the um, uh, the artist that recorded the music. So one day they might be feeling great, the next day they may be going through a breakup in their marriage, or they may be going through the loss of a child. So then you've got a happy song, then you've got a sad song, happy song, sad song, happy song, sad song, and what that's actually doing with your uh, you know mental structure is it's putting you in this elated state, then a sad state, elated state, sad. State. Say, 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 say. That's why I recommend, you know, and people ask me all the time, you know, uh, what I recommend for um, people that are struggling with anxiety and things. And I always recommend Wayne Dyer's Everyday Wisdom because for an hour you get this state, which is a neutral state. And it was the very thing that I stumbled into of January of this year of 2021 um, that literally, for whatever reason, uh, uncoded, you know, unlocked, you know, and uh, and freed me from a lot of the, the issues that and the, the resentments and the bitterness that I'd been holding for a long time. And when that actually happened, it kept me in that mellow state, which is really, really important. There was none of this that was going on anymore. It was this very mellow state. So it's very, very important that when you are feeling anxious and when you're feeling, again, you're feeling these things because you're thinking in that way. Believe it or not, your thoughts are so powerful, we'll cover this as well in upcoming episodes, your thoughts are so powerful that when you are thinking these things, that's what's gonna become your reality. So we've covered, obviously, you know, what's happening when, when bipolar and a lot of these other disorders are being formed. We've covered a little bit on the importance of 
um, you know, why it's important not to be listening to music or just watching it. And people will disagree with me and that's fine. But trust me, from my experience and, and my own studies as a psychologist in training, um, you know, I, I've seen this in my own life. That is why, as Rumi says, you never teach on anything that you haven't taught or that you haven't, you know, gone through yourself and that you haven't learned yourself. And it is so important that we we get a hold of this because there are more and more people than ever before that seem to be dealing with bipolar, anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts, suicidal tendencies, PTSD, BPD, schizophrenia, all of that kind of stuff. And if you don't deal with it at the root cause, no matter what you do, no matter how many pills you take, it is not going to get any better. So I hope that helps you today. If you've got any questions for me, please, as always, drop them in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and tell your friends, because it could be the very thing that really helps them in their time of struggle. And it helps our little organization as well. And, uh, and that's what we need to do. Please come back and join us next week for another exciting episode of Going Deeper. Until then, I have been your host, John Morris, and this has been Going Deeper, the show that helps you get from where you are to where you want to be, step by step, and hopefully, simply. Have a phenomenal day, guys. Take care. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity, and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Like a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as a trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the Early Bird Special Offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh. you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today I would love to hear from you as I say this is open only for 10 people and once it's done it's done so click that box below get in touch let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you have an amazing day folks take care God bless and I will see you soon